Today we're making crackers that are super delicious. Not only are they delicious, they are insanely healthy. They'll fit any diet, paleo, GFCF, low carb, yada, yada, yada. Stay tuned and we're gonna show you how we make our cauliflower crackers. Oh yeah. It's G. It's D. And welcome back to the first ever GD cooking time video. Wait, what? Welcome back to the first ever GD cooking time okay, video? Okay, yeah, that sounded weird. That's okay. Yeah. Welcome to the first episode yeah. of It's GD cooking time with Gavin and Dad. Or Dave, whatever you want to say. Or G and D. It's G and D, son. <laughs> and today we are making cauliflower crackers. Gotcha, don't let giant mess right now let's jump right into it shall we yeah let's do this thing okay so before we started recording here we did a couple of little cooking things we took a we took an onion mm -hmm. and caramelized it nicely or i should say gavin did he did a fantastic job you should yep. see how pretty these caramelized onions are Ooh. and then we did a quick five minute boil for our cauliflower rice, and then we let it cool because it's gonna be, we're gonna need to handle it with our hands and we don't wanna burn ourselves. Right, so you could rice it yourself or. Or just buy it, man. Save yourself the headache. You don't wanna sit there with a grater and go. <laughs> like my sound effects? Uh huh, uh huh. Or a food processor and chop it up. Just, it's not that expensive. If you got a Costco membership, this thing is like five bucks. It's eight cups of cauliflower. So that's what we got here. Eight cups of cauliflower, quick boiled. And then we got our cheesecloth. You can use a cheesecloth slash nut milk bag or not but, slash, but. But we're using a pillowcase, right? But yeah, we are actually using a pillowcase. Pillowcase. I'll tell you why, because. <clears throat> Do you know why, Gavin? Well, yeah, because you're going to squeeze this thing. I like to use an old sheet or a pillowcase. It's not really old. It's just never really been used before. So I cut it up, and this is going to let me really squeeze. Five years later, squeeze. Like really hard and tight. Now, if you squeeze like this tight with a cheesecloth, wow. It's gonna break and burst. It will? So, you're better off using a nut milk bag or just grab a pillowcase. Or yeah. an old t shirt or maybe a new t shirt specifically made or specifically bought just so you can use it as a cheesecloth. Yeah. Well, thanks. You see all this water coming out? This is the key. It's the most annoying part of this whole thing, but it's the key to making a good crunchy cracker, because if you can't get all that water out, it's not gonna get crispy. Boy, just when you thought you were done, it just keeps on coming. Yeah. Wow. All right, let me show you guys how much water I just squeezed out. That's a good workout, man. I'm a little out of breath. Oh, I'm not even... Okay, <laughs> so, uh -huh. I don't know if you caught that, but this is a cup. And it's overflowing and there's still water in the pan. That all came out of our cauliflower. So there's a lot of water in there. So you really got to squeeze hard. That's why you want to use something stronger than a cheesecloth or like triple quadruple it up instead of just definitely don't use just a single layer of cheesecloth. Yeah. So we have our eggs. I'm going to put just a hair, just a splash, half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Yep. Yeah, you can go and throw the onions in there. So all of these? So we did about three onions, but we got other things to cook, so we're only gonna use about one onion. Yep. Yeah, that's about one onion. There you go. That will Ish. slide that. One -ish. And then maybe a tablespoon of salt. Oop. And this right here is what we call around our house dad seasoning. We pretty much put this on everything. Everything. And it pretty much makes everything taste awesome. Okay. All right, so we got that rocking and rolling. Then we're gonna take our cauliflower brain. It looks like a brain. It really does. And we're gonna throw that in there. So it used to be like all soft, but now like it's 
like a brick. Well, not a brick. I wouldn't say it, yeah. It's hard. It's dried up. Ugh. Which is what we want. Right? All right, so we'll just throw that in there. We're just gonna use maybe a scoop of our coconut flour, our Thrive Market coconut flour. And you'll leave the description. We'll leave the link for that for. Oh yeah, I did a Thrive review. I did a thorough Thrive review where I compared prices to Thrive versus where we currently buy things. So check that out. I'll link it in the description. And for other awesome like. Um, post, yeah. Make sure you go to I'mSimplyAdad.com. This is my good boy. He's such a good plugger. A good marketer. Okay, so we'll stop talking now so we can turn this up loud. We are done with our cauliflower. I guess you'd call it a dough. It's not really a batter. It's not really a formable dough, but I guess you'd call it a dough, wouldn't you say? Mm, yeah. Not like a deer, a female deer, like a, <laughs> like a cookie dough. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, while um, he was mixing the... Yeah, let me just show us what it's gonna look like. Ooh. So while he was making the cracker dough or whatever <laughs> um i started to grease up the pan with all vegetable sh palm shortening so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> gavin wants a cracker what do you think you like that yeah too that's not embarrassing what if i did that in front of your friends what if your friends watch this video and oil oh, I know it. Remember, we started with about eight cups of cauliflower. That's a lot of cauliflower. Now we're gonna make two sets of crackers and your kids are gonna want to eat them all. Trust me. Yes. If you wanna double up your vegetables, you could always make a cauliflower hummus to go with this. Mm. We're not gonna do that today. Yeah. Sorry, we're just making cauliflower crackers. Maybe one day, comment below if you want us to make a cauliflower hummus someday. <laughs> is our crackers. It's very, very light. It's very, very thin. We're making crackers, so we'll spread it real, real thin. Actually, usually I gotta use my hands. I'll probably have to help Gavin out there. I'm gonna take a second here and help Gavin finish his. Then we're gonna pop them in the oven at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes, depending on when I remember to take them out. So don't burn them because... Yeah, don't burn them. That would be bad. Yeah. And then, so we'll pull them out and then we'll show you what to do next. All right, you need a hand there, buddy? Yeah. No, no. Yours is like super yeah. thin here. So our cauliflower crackers for, cooked for about 20-ish minutes, mm -hmm. yeah. And so now all we have to do is cut it up and then we'll put it in our handy dandy dehydrator. That's <clears throat> right. And here, let me show you guys what it looks like. That's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Still a little soft. We have to make do our little step to make it crispy. All right, notice, handy tip. Pizza cutter, man. Uh-oh. Zzzz, Need some help there, buddy? Yeah, there's like a part that so got- So remember, you don't want to go back and forth as well. Straight. Well- You go back and forth and they end up crooked. What's the matter? Well, one part was like cooked more than all the rest and got hard for a second, but. Ah, I see. Okay, so. so, like we said, we're gonna stick these in the dehydrator. You could actually like get a, a lid or a cup or something and cut a little circle out and make them little circle crackers. I've done that before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that, but I believe him. And you can cut them into triangles or something, but. Who's got time for that? <laughs> They'll eat it if it's circle or if it's square, but you know, if you're kidding. Or if it's rectangular. If you want to make it fancy, you can spend more time making it look fancier. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and taste it, see what it tastes like. Okay. <laughs> Get going. Mm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. hey, that was a, that was a legitimate, mm. I don't know why he's surprised. 
Like, we make this all the time. <laughs> and he's like, well, mm, this is actually good. <laughs> so, it's, it's more a bread-like now. But when we stick it in our dehydrator, it's going to crispen up. It's going to get all that moisture out. It's going to be nice and crispy. Now, if you don't have a dehydrator, don't fret. That's right. That's a real word. Don't fret. 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 They use it on Pirates of the Caribbean. Fret. Don't fret. Don't worry. Don't worry, your pretty little head. Fred sounds like a bird, but eh. <laughs> Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so if you do not have a dehydrator, you can probably do this in your oven, but it'd be a little harder. As I'm thinking here, you'd probably have to cut it and then flip it and then put it back in the oven because the underside is very, very soft while the overside it's oversight. Is that a word? The over Fret is a word, but I don't know about oversight. <laughs> the, the top, we'll call it. <laughs> the oversight. Is, uh, is fairly dry and crispy, but the underside is moist still. He so needs the you'd, oversight. You'd want to flip it for sure. Yeah. All right. So remember what's going on here, guys. We had eight cups of cauliflower out of this thing. We're only going to have two trays of crackers. There you go, Gav. I'll just start throwing them on there. You don't eat them. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Man down! Oh. There's a man! But, so, uh -oh. anywho, <laughs> these actually smell really good. They do. So and they taste better. We're going to so. put these on in our dehydrator, about a buck fifty. 150 degrees is what a buck means. And about two to four hours, depending on how thick you made your cauliflower or how moist it still is. And then just cook it until it starts to get crispy. And then pull that bad boy yeah. out. Alrighty. And then, so, we'll let these guys go for a couple hours. And we'll bring them back and we'll give them a taste. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Found it. Well, the crackers just got out of the dehydrator, and they I'm... were in there for about two hours. And really, we should let them go for three, maybe even four. But in the interest of saving time, we're gonna go for it. Right. So, give it a whirl, Gav. So. Oh. Hey, did you hear that? that was, crunchy. Told you it was crispy. Mmm. That's good. A training crackers. <laughs> what did you do that for? Mm. What happened to this guy? It's like a <laughs> straw. That's a good crunch right there, baby. Uh -huh. Okay, two tips for you guys to get it a little extra crunchier. You could use a, a starch instead of the coconut flour. Yeah. We look out for our carbs and our brother here, Ethan, is on a special low oxalate diet. And so coconut flour is really the only flour that he can have. <clears throat> Wow. So, if you want it a little extra crispier, then you can use like a tapioca starch or an arrowroot. Might help. I've never actually done it, but I assume that it would be a little um, crunchier. So, yeah. That and then just let it go until it's crunchier. Some of them are really, really, really nice and crunchy, like that one. But the other ones that are a little bit more thicker are not, not haven't gotten there yet. Oh yeah, some of them are like soft, like this one. And really, that's just a matter of time. So, you know, that's it. But you know what? We should taste our our, huh, our crackers and this little sauce that we just made. It's a broccoli sauce. This sauce right here, guys, we just made that in a, for a future video. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a broccoli pasta sauce. That's right. So make sure you subscribe so you can catch that recipe whenever it comes live. Yeah. It should be ready in a few weeks. Anything else to say? Uh, we are going to pretty much devour all these crackers because they are the bomb. Do people still say the bomb at school? Mm. No? It hasn't circled back yet, I guess, huh? <laughs> no? What about tight? That's tight. What? That's dope. That's... I can't think of any more right now. That's the stuff. Oh, that's what they do. They do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, guys. That is it for this very first episode of It's GD. Cooking time. That's going to be our new melody, by the way. Cooking time. <laughs> cooking time. And that's it. That's it for, uh, for episode numero uno. That's number one, one for all you non-Spanish-speaking people like me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> um, go ahead, make sure you subscribe and share, right? Yes, that'd be amazing. Yeah, because help us grow. This is episode number one, so we want to keep going with two, three, four, and beyond. Right? And if you want the recipe, go ahead and go to imsimplyadad.com slash video. video, and you'll be able to sign up to get all the recipes that we're going to make. And we'll put our latest recipes up on that spot, too. Uh -huh. That's it. All right. And so, until next time, we will see you soon. Bye. Be well.